So this is the wig that I'm customizing for a client of mine. This is the wig that was already purchased by her. And I'm about to add some color to it and I'm gonna bring y'all along with me for this little trip. Okay, so actually what you're gonna be seeing me do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna fill out adding some color in her spikes, okay? So we have our 27 piece hair, we have our clips, we have our mannequin head, we have the wig, and we have our thread. So what we're going to do is, because this hair here is going down, we are going to take this here. She only wants hints of color, just hints of color. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go with our flipped in out, flipped. Our flipped in out. And I'm gonna proceed to go in and stitch that. Oh man. Make sure that your needles are properly adhered to and ready to go. So because her hair is thin, we're only gonna do a single thin layer of hair adaptation for her. So we're going to go in we just added some burgundy because she didn't want to be so plain. So and we're just adding it probably from about here to here. So let me go ahead and cut it. Because some of these tracks are going to be up and some of them are going to be down. We're going to do a reverse. Which when I make another wig like this, I will show you all how I do it. This right here is a store purchased unit. Not made by myself, but it is a unit that I am customizing for said customer. And my hair just will not be still up here. She just wants to move all over a B place. She's holding a bad head. Hold your head still, Miss Ma'am. Thank you. 
All right, you guys, we have two tracks down. being flipped up you can spike it she can wear it spiky or she can bring it down as such as well and just have that little color effect in the front if she chooses to she can make that part very flat comb over a little slight color or if she wants to she can go back in it juice it up go right back to her spikes 
right back to the spike look with the color, shape it out. So yeah, choices. With some of the proper product on your hands. And there we have it, adding tracks to an already formed wig to update it, make it sassy, give it a different look. Let me find her some earrings. So since we ain't got no for real earrings, poop, we're gonna do like I do my clients when they don't wear any. Yeah, so our girl has on some earrings now. And yeah, you can go in, Form it. I like. I'll be gonna cut this down for Miss Carrie. And that is the look. that you can do. 